Hi everybody, this is Fibro Jedi, and this is me attempting to get settled for another Smuggler Saturday. I've had as many cold remedies as I'm allowed, um, <laughs> and got my normal meds in me as well, so I'll be sipping tea for a while. So, where did we get last time? We had our inside man was found out, and so we're going to have him dressed up as a servant guy instead of an imperial moth to try to infiltrate um, the Balmoran Arms factory. Yes, that's what's going on with there. We're also still doing the planetary story um, and I think we need to go pick up the cutscene conversations for those. So, let's... Do -do 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 -do. Probably quicker just to take the taxi for this one. Yeah. And I'm stood right by it, so let's not run away. Reminder, travel There's a bridge around here that I have a, a horrible habit of falling off if I think that's the way up to the Balmhor Arms Factory. Hi Mel, thanks for joining. <coughs> good, good to see you again. Trying to get myself settled. I just. This must be about week four of. Um, thanks. <laughs> this was about week four of me saying, sorry, I've got a cold. About three days ago, I thought I was getting rid of this flipping cold. It's not as bad as it looks. Um, and then this morning, I, I couldn't wake up. My head was just full of. I just couldn't. It was like full of fluff on top of my normal brain fog, for that matter, which was annoying. So, I'm hoping my normal meds kick in fairly soon. Ugh always pick the wrong lift um, and that my voice doesn't sound too stuffy through this stream <coughs> kinda hope I can get rid of it a bit more before Lotro streams tomorrow because I have to speak a lot more during that one how are you doing Mal? Uh, yeah it's just I just can't I mean I have a pants immune system as it is so I can't shake things I pick things up really easily and I can't shake them. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it gets very annoying and very wearing. Right, so before we actually... The class story is already set live. for the Balmoran Arms Factory, but we need to pick up the planetary stuff from in here. I've done this one Republic, uh, sorry, Imperial so many times, I keep expecting there to be the Imperial NPCs up here and I have to go and see Darth Lacris. Um, not this time. I'm looking for Lamb Carner. You found him. Good thing too. Now you can take this off my hands. It's the Barrage of Spike. Commander Maydeen sent it over. Your job is to use that to take control of the Barrage. My job is to find it mm. for you. Just the usual sound check is my voice and everything else balanced okay for everybody. Before I proceed with this cutscene. <clears throat> on Quesh. Yeah, Quesh is very short. Um, I will be doing the planetary story on Quesh. Thanks, Taffet, and hi. Good to see you too. Yeah, when well, the first time I did Quash on my main, and I was like, every planet up to that point you spend lots of time on, you get to Quash, and all of a sudden it's like, in, bam, out. Poof. No, we'll do the Quash story as well while we're there. Um, the advantage of doing Quash is I think you can do it, and it delays going to Hoth. So, you know, all things have positive outcomes. <laughs> hi, Marrow. <clears throat> I guess there's been no word from Dr. Carceri. Not a peep. That's why you're dealing with an old tech like me. It takes a lot of power to destroy a fleet. I can trace where it's going and locate the Barrager that way. But the Empire's got power-hungry contraptions all over this battlefield. As long as they're up, I can't get a clear <laughs> reading. Get me? Hi, Quinny. Yeah, they force you to at least start. You're not allowed to go onto the planet's surface without the injection, but you can untrack it if you really want to, but um, it makes sense. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, yield attack. Isn't that in your job description? <laughs> if Commander Maydean ordered me to cross enemy lines, I'd be proud to die trying. But then I'd be, well, dead. Empires recall their <laughs> full this forces guy. here. Republic's doing all they can, <laughs> but you've got a literal army to get through. Watch yourself. I count everything the Empire's got running. Hook this power monitor up to their primary sensor grid, and we'll find your weapon. Any chance of a Republic escort? Or a distraction? <laughs> If an attacking Republic army isn't a distraction, I don't know what is. As soon as I've got a lock on the barrage's <laughs> location, I'll calm you. Stay safe out there. That's not a game I've come across there, Maro. I heard you... Oh, well, heard. That's, the, that's definitely the wrong word. I saw you tweet about it. <clears throat> yeah, hi, Quinny. Great to see you here as well. Um... Get to hear the kind of cold, stuffy voice you might hear later um, when we do our op. Oh, oh flipping neck! I always miss the lifts. I wish I understood how the word "sick" changed from being "you're completely ill." and in need of a doctor to being that's so cool and amazing and awesome and other words that used to be cool and awesome when I was young <clears throat> heard worse don't worry <laughs> name no names okay I promised that Balmora would just do the purple uh, quest else we will be here until um, the eternal empire strikes the one thing I like about Mal Balmora, and I wish they'd done this better on Corellia, is it actually feels like a war zone. Corellia, you got, it's supposed to be a planetary-wide battle, and they... And yet you've got loads of empty, very quiet street streets. Oh yes, a shot to the um, proverbials for a Sith. Can't be much more satisfying than that, really. <laughs> Eternal Empire strikes back. <laughs> Hi, Ninth Pawn. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> right. So we need, how many of these do we need? We need five of these jamming beacons. The shield generators you don't hit until you get to, yeah, to the trenches. So we need five of these. Tr S not all of these apparently transmitting towers have the modules on them to interact. So whether we can see without getting to... You see, that one looks like it is, but does not actually have um, a console on it. Although Shiani likes her blasters, if she can avoid being shot at by certainly trained soldiers, she will. Hmm. Uh, I don't really feel safe running around on my Varactyl in a war zone. <laughs> Where are these? Ah, oh, darn it, I bet that person's just got there first. Unless he's just come from the, the... Is the Dread Zone around here somewhere? Yeah, I think it is. Dread Seed. Here, let me. <coughs> yeah, it's two. Do we think that one has it? I weirdly ended up with quite a few characters on Balmora. I thought there was somebody else running around up here. Pants. Yeah, ended up with quite a few characters stuck on stuck on Balmora. It's not a bad planet to be stuck on. I love the music here. You're gonna live. I always forget which of the droids have the lasso, which is not a lasso, I can't remember what it's actually called, but because you can use hunker down to stop yourself from being lassoed. Oh, 
Alright, that one's destroyed. You can tell from a distance if you have better observation skills than I do. If it's smoking at the top, someone's already destroyed it. That one's not, but does it have a... Yeah, with Malavai Quinn, um, I am only just... I only just have a character that... Here, let me. Um, is pursuing the romance with him. And because I have... Well, as of now, nearly 30 characters, because I haven't decided what to do with my characters that I gained from the server mergers. <clears throat> my characters aren't getting played very often. But what I am trying to do now is rotate my characters, so I'm not playing this. I was, I was originally going to try focusing um, on a few characters, then I realised I actually don't need better gear, so there's no point me grinding CXP if I actually... I do have times when I think, I know, I will actually pick up some extra CXP bits and pieces and I feel like okay. doing dailies or FPs, that's fine. But it's not an, it's not a goal, I don't have a purpose really for better gear. Yeah, Darth Lacris is actually, yeah, you're right there, Marrow. Um, she, she's got a very well written script on the pub side when you do the consular mission. Um, and she basically has had one of the higher ups tortured until he goes insane. And Darth Lacris comes out with a comment that said, I'm afraid he's totally useless to you now, although perhaps a little bit more decorative, because she's carbonized him. So, um, he. Good thing with politicians is that apparently you can make them decorations. <clears throat> yes, Mel, that was the one I was just talking about. Um, She's actually quite an intense character if you play a male character, a male imperial character, you can have um, interactions and private interactions. She's quite intense. She's that sort of quiet, seething evil that you really wouldn't want to mess with. Now then, where's the other shield generator? There it is. <clears throat> And I, did I actually take down that gold mob, or did I just totally miss that it was one? <laughs> I might have totally missed it. But yeah, I'm getting, getting to know... Have, having avoided the... Um, Malavai Quinn romance on my last female warrior that is now stuck in the middle of the Iocath mess. Um, investigating doing it now on Ray Kyler and... You learn a lot more about him. He's not as self-assured as maybe he comes across as, I don't think. <laughs> oh, clearly it was... Uh, I'm not paying attention yet. I ended up waking up a lot later than I had planned today um, because of this cold. I was like, oh, pants, it's now quarter past eleven. I should probably get up. I've been in bed ten hours. I know this is a gold mob and I'm taking it because you, sometimes you get other characters sort of ambush you at this one. Just because it is a gold mob. I think sometimes it drops gear. Sometimes. Yeah, only a green... green bit this time. Not better than what I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> it does have to be said, Mel, absolutely. Um, yeah, I probably ought to play Ray Kyler a bit more, because I, I effectively created her purposefully for the Mal Malavai Quinn romance, so it'd be good to see how that plays out. That one, and I'm gonna keep one of the characters I inherited from the server mergers, because I remember the reason I created him was to be a darker smuggler to do the uh, Akavi Spa romance, which is another one I've never done. Bounty Hunter Companions are such a disaster. <laughs> They're a very mixed bunch, Marrow. They're definitely a very mixed bunch. Good work. Signal's coming in, clear as a <coughs> bell. Most of the power's being drawn to the administrative complex of the Balmoran Arms Factory. The barrage must be there. <laughs> you're you're pretty handy. Thanks for the assist. Just doing my job. 
Now you have to do yours. I've got Commander Maydine on hold for you. If we don't meet again, well, for Balmora's sake, I hope we do. Looks like we were both hard at work. You've got the Barrager's location. I've got Dr. Karsiri. Good thing, too. The Barrager lab's been fortified beyond recognition. Freeing the Gorinth Brig prisoners must have put a scare into the Empire. They're driving us hard to finish the weapon. The Empire's made Darth Minax our overseer. She was a slave driver before, but now... Any minor setback is grounds for execution. Darth Minax is, is actually someone I would definitely not be messing with at all. The the love letters at the end can be quite a var <coughs> can be quite varied character to char character, so some of them are quite worth keeping. Um, I'll have to have a look at Quinn's, but I'm a long way off that. I think not finished chapter one fully yet, but I'm doing everything on on Ray Kyler. And yes, Blizz. I think most people like Blizz. As for Mako Mandalorian traditions. Mako has this don't kill our targets but in, but do take them in kind of thing so she's quite hard to get around as being a bounty hunter where some of them you can take them in but some of them you, you're just going to have to take them down but I don't so Mako is a bit confusing on that one I can't take the male bounty hunter voice seriously I've tried I really tried I even got through to um, Taris on my male bounty hunter, and it's just the voice. It's just the I'm a big man. I've got a deep, gravelly voice, so I just can't take it seriously. Um. What else do you know? Without their research, Doctor Mel and Doctor Ortis couldn't have anticipated our progress. There's some vital extra steps to making their hack work. Uh, I didn't sign on for this. The situation is like navigating an asteroid field. No one said getting to the barrage would be easy. That's why we enlisted you. Use the barrage spike on the subsystem <laughs> controllers, okay. then on the main power core. It'll allow full control when you arrive. Face. Won't blow this. Trust me. You've already done more for Balmora than I ever thought possible. I'd better get back before Darth Minax comes looking. I hope to meet you in person soon. Please free me from Darth Follow Minax. Follow Dr. Karsiri's instructions and get to the barrage. Medine out. Yeah, Mako does care about money because that's her career choice. So she, although it's an, she knows it's an honor to be a Mando, from the start she's about making the money through the bounty hunting thing. If you have Torian as your main companion, of course, he will have different priorities. Um, this will hurt you a lot more than me. Right, so let's infiltrate an arms factory. Yay. Of course, bounty hunters come in different shapes and sizes. Not everyone will just take on a bounty because it's great for honor. You start out as that is your career choice. So I can't quite remember what I'm going to be doing with Shani later on because her original motivation was money. But of course, we're currently in this. You're kind of working for the Republic, but um, you want to profit from it. And I'm going to have a bit of a trouble to work out what to do at the end of the class story here because you've already been indicated that you could make extra money if you, putting it bluntly, screw over the locals and sell them the bits of the weaponry they want to defend themselves piece by piece. Because Shani does have a heart. Risha doesn't really. Unless it's to do with protecting her own people, which is fair enough. Yeah, Zin, you're probably right, but then you don't always... To, to, if they were all perfect for the class, it'd be like going through life and only ever coming across, coming across people who would fit in with your life choices, which is highly improbable, I think. Oops, a daisy. You're gonna live. Control my mouse. Someone else is shooting their way through, so I'll just sneak on by here, I think. Yes. <clears throat> Lore objects. Right? It occurs to me we might be slightly outgunned by the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Risha, that's true. Always get the lore object on the inside of the arms factory. Yes!
absolutely. However, if you've done this recruitment under Fallen Empire, he has actually changed. He has, in fact, in one sense, grown up because he he does use the Force when you've recruited him. He does wield the lightsaber. So whatever his weirdo master on Narshadar master. Whoever he was, Gus has gone from pretending to heal you with Jedi powers, which is what he does while you're um, just as, uh, just as a companion, um, to actually healing you with the Force. So, Gus used to be worse. <laughs> Well, when you recruit him in Fallen Empire, he is actually, to some degree, a Jedi, despite probably not really being part of the Order. Um, he's at least using the Force. Whereas he, he makes really funny comments like, I healed you with Jedi powers, just using a bog standard, like, med, remote, uh, med pack thing. Oh well, you'll have much fun then, Mel, because he he is a smuggler companion, and you'll meet him on Hoth. I want to make sure I'm not missing something while I'm trying to talk here. I don't think I am. Oh yeah, you, you wait, Mel, with the with the um, companion conversations with Gus on board your ship. They're quite funny. Actually, no, they're just downright hilarious. So definitely carry on with what you're doing in, in staying ahead of where I'm at. There we go. Oh, I thought there was a terminal there. It's only inside with a terminal there then. Or someone's already disabled that one. missed one. Yep, keep staying ahead of me. Um, Hot Smuggler is fun, but it's also a... You know how sometimes this game puts you in impossible situations where you cannot possibly please everybody? Think every single possible class story on Voss. Um, you have that with the Smuggler story. On Hoth. Gotcha. I wish we get Rask as a Rask. Ah, Rask. Yes, sorry. I've got a co uh, cough sweet in my mouth. I'm trying not to click it around too much. Yes, Rask. There's, there's also, I think it's Impside, a Trandoshan that you can beat as part of the, um... Belsavis planetary arc. But, unlike, say... Ah, no! Is Rascal Wookie? Hi Terry Edwin, thanks for joining. I'm trying to remember, it's always harder for me to remember because of the way my brain works. Somebody has just basically preceded me into the Balmoran Arms Factory. I need these remotes to come back online. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, ah, here's the Trandoshan. Trandoshans, unlike Wookiees, won't owe you a life debt for beating them. You can... I think when you do the Belsavis one, they will follow your orders, they will submit to you, but they don't have the same life debt thing that Wookiees have, I don't think. Um, given that defeat is a humiliation for a Trandoshan. Well, it's not much better for a Wookiee, but it's a particular humiliation for a uh, Trandoshan. I want these things to come back online. I'm a bit impatient, I don't know why. Yeah, they would respect you after winning a duel, but that's not the same as putting themselves in service to you. I don't think. Oh, come on. What the... 
Balmora, population 67%. I'm highly suspecting this kind of thing is going to happen more often, which is no bad thing. Um, 67 people on Balmora. I think that's higher than I've ever seen, which must be due to the server merge. There we go. Where was the other place? I was quite surprised. Where was I the other place? Where there's usually very few people. Yeah, I'm lovely. Like 15. I'm in a daily area. It's good to see higher population on planets. And apart from having to reset the UI, which thanks to Quinny I don't have to do very often. My mic's very distorted, or is just my voice that's very distorted? Let me see if I need to turn my audio up a bit. It might be my cold that's helping things. Maybe never would have to be able to bring... Oscan Kyben. Difference, people wouldn't be nicking your quest objectives. I suspect open tapping would require quite a lot of recoding because, as it currently sits, I would assume that as a coder myself, that these have basically a naught and one state in the database. Hi Valiant, so good to see you again. Uh, um, and that's easy to keep as a naught and one state. To make an open tapping system, you'd have to effectively have a naught and one state per character, um, which would involve quite a bit of database restructuring. Why did I come up the wrong side of the arms factory? This is what happens when you're trying to talk. Hey ho! At least we know there's no rush. <laughs> it's so comforting to know when I make some when I do something stupid, when I'm not the only person in the room to do something stupid. Fab. Oh, pants, there's one just right behind here. A bit slow on the uptake, but Darn it. Yay, a flying battery officer. <clears throat> So I suspect if they were going to do open tapping, it would take quite a bit of work t to make it happen. Right, I think this is the class. You're here. Yes. I thought you'd abandoned me. <laughs> Those incompetent soldiers you left me with are all dead. I suggested a shortcut past Imperial barracks, and they had the gall to blame me. Me, when they went and got themselves killed, leaving me undefended. Um. I don't want you getting me killed, too. <laughs> Fine with me. I'm certainly not keen to be dragged into another messy fight. This has been harrowing enough already. I mean, I've ordered plenty of deaths, but I've never had to watch. <laughs> Are there passcodes, or do I just break down the door? Oh, right. The passcodes. It's, um, 869321. <laughs> oh, and before you go... Do you think you can bring me some water? I'm parched. <laughs> uh, maybe a blaster, just in case. <laughs> You'll be fine. If this goes well, I'll be back in a minute. If not, we're both dead anyway. Yay. I don't say that. I hate death. Especially mine. <laughs> Here, let me... 
<laughs> yeah, Valiance. Um, Saturday is all for me always Smuggler Saturday. Um, Sunday is Lottery Day. And when easily lost title is a warning. Yeah, it really is. Which one did? I think I've added that easily lost to someone else as well. I should really have Mirlas in Mori wander around with easily lost. It would make a much more appropriate one. Master Mangler. Impressive title. Um, yeah, there's so many, so many neat titles. You have to really work hard, or some of the ones that are great to get in in the old republic. My guild got me a legacy title when we did the Rishi here. There's two, in fact. There's Lord of the Oceans, which one of them does use, but Incredible Spell Discoverer. If you do the Rishi data crons and you're the one doing some of the bits and pieces. Um, they had to work it so I could actually get the title. <coughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to easily fix the... Simply because everything's already plugged in properly and NJ has been eating some of my cables. Um, so I can't tell which ones are damaged and which ones are just drooled on. Lovely. <clears throat> right, what are we actually doing in here that I can't remember? We are coming up here to ah, the nebula ship control panel. Let's kill a few people and just see if there's a bonus to be had. That would be a yes. Because we're only doing the purples here, we may as well get whatever advantage we can from. Oh, my follow three shot wasn't available. May as well get whatever XP we can from it. Okay, I have no idea what I changed there, Mel. <laughs> Correlation, not causation. Yes, I understand. Okay, votes on how I handle this um, nebula shipment issue. Because there's no female in danger thing going on that would sway Siani's opinion. She's got a heart, but she wants to make credits. Yeah, maybe. It's possible, Mel. Yeah, tough it the one time when it's genuinely correct to say my dog at my homework or rather my dog at my recording computer my recording equipment. Oh, I thought my follow-through shot was available. Now it is. <clears throat> right, so, if I remember right, we have... Gave the ship to Republic. Yeah, this is going to be tricky, because you've also got in this cutscene, haven't you, the Akavi Spa decision. Um, to give a car to give that really pompous moth to a carvey. Hmm. Yes, I don't know. This terminal controls the operations of the Tux droid pilots. Ick. If this was a bounty hunter, this would be easy, because you'd be like, well, my employer is the Republic, therefore I need to do what's right for the Republic. Risha will want to sell the tugs for profit, but we've been actually sent by the Republic to... I'm actually gonna... He's a cat, not a Minoc! <laughs> if you've got Minocs, you've got bigger problems than a few cables being chewed.
Oh, I thought it would give me the backstory bit of this decision. You're being sent by the Republic to help acquire the Nebula shipment for the Republic, yes? So... And we've said we would be... Yeah, in this part of the story... Let's do what's right for the Republic. But I can't remember how to handle the Akavi thing. Hmm. I'm not you. <laughs> I'm not even used to just thinking. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, thinking it through on stream is slightly different. You owe me one, Senator Dodonna. Is this the one? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Um, <clears throat> she's an authorized repair tech sent by a high command. Surrender. You are in violation of the laws of the Sith Empire. Uh, this isn't a sim I'm not in the Sith Empire. Usually, I stick to breaking the laws of the planet I'm on. Balmora is a protectorate of the Sith Empire. The word of the Emperor is law. This isn't my fault. I was being helpful. I was scouting for guards. You should have stayed in your box. Oh, it seems you found them. <laughs> Silence! Men, kill them! Thank me later. Will do. Define what you mean by decent animal companion. Or animal pet. Do you mean pet or companion? Companion. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh, they fell easy. No. We're not, we're not done. We're not done. I thought that was a bit too easy. Yeah, 5 and 10 mil is probably about average for a de- Well, all the pets are decent. <laughs> it depends on how much you feed them. Oh. Did not spot that random droid shooting me. Oh, it's probably because I shot first. Right, let's just stop pressing shoot. <clears throat> the Ack Dog, I've never managed to find an easy price but I need to have a look um, let's if you look in collections there are so many animal companions now so if I go in here in companions and what I've got collected um, so my assassin has this the Morvor a few people of mine have the Exobor um, a couple of mine have the have the Ginx Jinx I don't know um, the one I've never managed to get hold of because it's always extortion is the Nexu. So that's like on my amazing when I've got too many credits wish list. Um, depends on the style of character. I mean, Marrow, your um, your characters are usually dark. So there's the there's the scary ass man uh, anathema beast, or I never like the huge companions because they take up too much of the screen. But the Vorclaw is there. Um. Vine cat's terrifying enough for dark people, I think. It's just not cat enough for my n nice people. Ooh, I've not seen Banshee before. Darth, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's finish this cutscene, and then we can finish the actual war for Balmora. You keep doing that. I have saved your life. In return, I demand you turn over Moff Tyrak. I have hunted this man for five years. Ever since his command saw my entire clan executed as traitors. It was a lie. They served the Empire with honor. What did you seek to gain with their deaths? He's hardly a mastermind. Are you sure you've got the right guy? Moff Tyrak. It was his command which authorized the execution. It's not really ringing any bells. But my assistant handles most of that sort of paperwork. <laughs> Him and his uh, assistant. Why did you do it? Why conspire against them? If I get an execution order, I always sign it. Better the wrong men dead than a traitor left alive, right? This cannot be him. Where is the real Moff Tyrak? The sadistic Imperial Puppet Master? Um, I'm afraid this is it. In my experience, the world's a messy place. People die, usually with no good reason. This can't be. My clan deserves vengeance. 
They must have their names cleared, the blood of their enemies used to purify their dishonorable deaths. Revenge is always unsatisfying. Even if you succeed, you're left with nothing. Can we leave now? I have tickets to the Palawic Opera on Nasha Dar tonight. <laughs> you... No! I demand my blood rights. Let the Republic have him. Tyrak is a pawn. He brings the Republic what he knows you'll have revenge against the entire Empire. If there was another responsible for the deaths of my clan, then it's him I should be hunting. Perhaps it is a start, perhaps. He knows something that will let me track the true architect of my clan's betrayal. I am not often at a loss for words, but I had not thought where to go once my search ended. Are you looking for an extra gun? I can't offer you a clan, but you have a place with me as long as you want it. And I cannot give you my loyalty, but while I am with you, I will serve you well. I will prove myself by returning this wretch to the Republic. If I refrain from killing him, you know you can trust me. I did not forget my promise of a payment for bringing me the moth. What would you have of me? Um. Don't worry about it. The Empire's plans. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just tell the Republic anything you know about the Empire. We'll call it even. As you like. I will wait for you at your ship. You really feel sorry for a Carvey. Um, I'm not gonna make her my active companion uh, for story reasons, and I'm just about well. to finish the Let's battle for Balmora, so I'm gonna go with something that has influence. Here, let me. <laughs> Interesting, though. It's hard. I mean, I've. It's been a while since I've done the full smuggler story, so I forget the range of options that are actually available to you. <clears throat> Yeah, Mara, although I see your point about um, going the dark option route, uh, actually taking down Moff Tyrak in that one is not an honourable kill. Oh, where's that one? There we go. Yeah. I finished this one pub side not that long ago and I suddenly thought it's a lot shorter than imp side one where you get to go out and take out the Republic's ships. I mean they'd have had to have created an, an Imperial equivalent to make it possible. <clears throat> You're gonna live. Six million is actually not that bad but just remember when you buy an animal companion or a droid companion etc um, you have to feed it first but if you're just doing class story bits and nothing much more challenging to be honest you need to get them up to influence 10 before um, and that's pretty much all you have to do for companions for the class side story for them to be effective if you're doing more say some dailies or FPs with them then yeah a bit more of influence is always a good idea Six million nowadays is 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 low for a creature companion. Droids tend to be most droids tend to be cheap, at least how it used to be on my server. I have not been on GTN yet since the merger. I was dealing with the characters I inherited on the US server, which is. Starforge? I'll eventually get my head around what the servers are called. I think it's Starforge. Ah. Need three more Imperial Heavies. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
Yeah, inside you get into the, about this far into the Balmoral Arms Factory and you think, oh, it must be near the end and there's loads more stuff to do out the back of the, the Arms Factory and you don't have any of that pub side at all. Let's meet the delightful Darth Minax. I'm sorry, Darth Minax. <laughs> I had the codes put in place, but the locks seem to have failed. Half the Imperial Army and still the Republic gets inside. Secure the weapon! You found the Barrager designers among the rest of the rabble you freed, didn't you? Pathetic, idiotic Republic luck! Um, You said the sore losers. Don't be such a crybaby. <laughs> you mistake anger for weakness. A dangerous miscalculation. Balmora belongs to the Empire. The Barrager will only remove all doubt. You were very foolish to come here. Perhaps now you'll understand why. Don't stand in, stupid. And they let you kill her. What did I inherit here? Dark Venerable Seeker's Double Bladed Lightsaber. Is it any good for anyone else? Yeah, it's a fairly average lightsaber, isn't it? Although it's quite funny to see Siani with a lightsaber. Let's keep it. I might use it on a. I need to recreate a, um, a Sith Assassin. I'll see what we're doing. I don't like Smuggler that much because it felt so weird to kill a Sith on. Sith are not bl uh, blaster proof. We are here, Commander. Darth Minax and the other Imperials are dead. The barrage is ready to accept your spike. Excellent. Use the barrage spike to get control. I'm sending a recovery crew to take over operations. To take over? But the barrage is a threat to Balmora. It must be destroyed. You know that. Uh, did I miss something? Everything all right here? Seems like there might be a problem. What's wrong is that your commander is willing to sacrifice Balmora for a Republic victory. Destroying a fleet takes every bit of power a planet can give. Solar, geothermal, hydro. If it's part of Balmora, it's powering the Barrager. It will leave the planet an empty shell with nothing left to defend. The Empire wanted the Barrager so they could hold Balmora forever. Now I see the Republic does too. Force users are not invincible. So, you know, you can... In fact, there's quite a few. If you're in Reven... No. In... The uh, Attack of the Clones, a load of Force users are shot. Um, so, it just being a Force user does not make you... Yes, Terry Edward, exactly. Enough pew pew and even Sith can die. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Part of the... Just because you're a Darth does not mean you know everything and that you win all the time. Um, yeah. I mean, it depends on how you write your characters, I suppose. Uh, let's hear his story. Is this true, Commander? Whatever your assumptions, Doctor. A real-life city. It's clear that we needed to get control of the Barrager. You never said the Republic planned to use it! You really think we'd destroy something that could prevent another Telos, Taras, or Coruscant? Save millions of lives and guarantee a Republic victory? This war is not over. I can feel it. I know the cost is high, but the Barrager could make sure the Republic wins that war. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Terry Adrian and Mel on this one. <laughs> we can't sacrifice one planet to save another. Blast it! Do you realize what you're doing? You've given the Empire a second chance! The Barrager's power core is overloading. We have to evacuate. I'll come back to that um, conversation once I get out of the arms factory. 
which I have to pew pew my way through a whole load of strong droids. Or specialist droids at least. Luke Skywalker says to the Emperor in one of the movies that his overconfidence is his weakness. And I think the same could be said of Sith or Jedi for that matter who think that they are above being taken down by even a low hero. I agree Mel, but the problem is I, I don't like this music because it's that tense escape music so I sort of run like that really. <clears throat> right, yay! Back to Bugtown to finish this lot off. Yeah. <clears throat> I think what I'll end up doing is having a, a quick earlier break than normal once we finish everything on Balmora just because it's a logical point for us to have a quick break at. <coughs> I need liquid Welcome. for my throat. Got a full stock and permission to sell. So assuming that's okay with everybody. Do I'm I even need piece. upgrades at fleets? I bet I don't. 38. Uh. Yeah, I probably could do with upgrades at fleet. It's dark and dirty, but not the worst Republic base I've ever visited. Rhodia still holds the title. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't manage to get that helmet. I have no idea why it evaded you for so long. There isn't an equivalent, I don't think. Imperials still have stockpiles here. We need two squads up on the Gorin Plateau. You're back. We're in the middle of final troop deployment. The Empire's hmm. lost, but they're attacking on their way out. I don't think you realize what you've done. If we had the Barrager, the Imperials wouldn't have fired another shot. <laughs> You're a hypocrite. You wanted to destroy Balmora for a weapon. You might as well join them. I wanted to give the Republic the best shot I could at defeating the Empire. That's very the true, Zen. Coruscant. They came out of nowhere, and we couldn't do anything about it. The Empire invaded Balmora. I promised myself that it would end here. Can you blame me? Dr. Kursiri risked his life for Balmora, not the Republic. For a scientist, he's got guts. Maybe he can help, if he ever forgives me. I'm glad it was you making the call and not me. When you spend your life fighting, it's easy to forget why. You secured the Barrager, stormed the Gorinth Brig, freed Sobrik. The yeah, you list those death. things. You list those things. What happens next? Even after the Empire's yeah, thanks, gone, refugees <clears throat> will need escorts. Excuse me. Infrastructure's got to get going mm. again. There's a lot of work ahead, but Balmora's free. That's what's important. Good luck to you. I should have listed all those things at me when he yelled at me for destroying the barrage. I was just thinking, yeah, I wish um, the Old Republic had a wardrobe type feature because you could then nick some of the bits and pieces from other classes. Thanks Mel, uh, Marrow, to get that assassin look. Um, the map says I have th nothing to train, but it has the green dot on it. Never mind. Sixer! My goodness, Captain. It is a relief to see you hale and hearty after everything you've been through. Hale and hearty. Master Newman, Master Newman, the Captain has returned. Are you sure you're not Balmoran, Captain? I can't name one person who's done more for the Resistance. The Imperials are going nuts about losing the Nebula shipment. I didn't know the Emperor let them use that kind of language. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I say? 
Sometimes a girl just needs bigger ordnance. <laughs> We've got an old saying here in <laughs> Belmora. It's not the size of a missile. It's how it hits the <laughs> oh my life! How many people on The public is willing to sell us some of it back. We need those nebula prototypes. <clears throat> I'm leaving soon. Is this really the last thing you want to say to me? No, wait. What were we talking about? <laughs> Maybe we should go back to my place and try to remember. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, my gracious. I don't think I should be hearing this. I'm a family friendly model. <laughs> family Why friend. don't I just head back to the ship? I uh, need to do some engine work. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should find somewhere more private. <laughs> I've never done that set of choices before. I'd be a fool to think one night is reason enough to bring someone like you back to somewhere like this. But I hear the Void Wolves executed half the Imperial leadership on Balmora. We could be working in the same circles again after all. I knew Balmora was such a romantic place. Maybe the tourism board can work something up. Balmora, rockets, rebels, and romance. <laughs> it's been fun, Captain. I hope our work brings us together in the future. <laughs> I've never done that set of lines before, that's quite funny. Right, ship's hollow terminal. <clears throat> Ach, I'm trying to remember what level the next set of upgrades are. Does it go from 38 to 46 or something on fleet? Or is it 48? I think it's 30... I currently have 38 things. 38, 42, 48. Oh, in which case I might as well wait to level 48 for the actual upgrades. Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's right, Mel. So there's no point in me putting 42s in when I'm part way to 46 already. So Looks like we'll hit 48 doing quest. I would have thought fairly close at least. Um, I'm taking the wrong route. Your ship. Yes, please. <coughs> I'm a family friendly model. Yeah, this iteration of Siani will definitely be destined for Theron. Which means we will end up doing at least Shadow of Revan on this one. And depending on how people feel. Um, Kotfi as well. You can see how much of a challenge that is. For me. <laughs> right, I'm just going to bung the last bit of this. Ah. Oh, Darn it, did I miss the feet from Balmora somewhere then? Ick, that means I have to go back to Balmora. It's probably in one of the random side quests that we didn't do. But we managed to, we've created quite a few here. I had thought about making up an out, a secondary um, chill outfit, like rough clothes outfit. I haven't got around to it. There's always too much to do and not enough time to do it in. Cool. Well, Captain, mm. Senator Dodonna is starting to see the payoff on her investment. I hear the Nebula prototypes were well received, and the loss is causing a bit of a dust up among the Imperials down on Balmora. The Resistance needs it back. Those weapons were made by the people of Balmora. The Republic should give them enough to defend themselves. I'll make sure Senator Dodonna is aware of your opinion, but Balmora is hardly the only target in this war. I believe the Senator is hoping you'll brave Hoth next. It's a frozen wasteland uh, somewhere in the outer rim. I thought we had to get Quesh first. I don't know the full situation. Something about a pirate superweapon. But I'm sure Senator Dodano will brief you when you arrive. Pack warmly. Oh, we are going I thought we were going to get Quesh first. Pants. Have we? Ah, there's a convoy quest that triggers. Right, okay. I'll go make <clears throat> a drink so I don't lose my voice. Uh, meet back here in five minutes, and we'll catch up with companions while I have my drink, and then we'll carry on 
where we left off. It's nice actually, I feel like we're gonna complete something. Balmora's a bit of a long slog, even when you're only doing the um, purples. So yes, I'll go make myself a new... I should probably have a fake coffee, I probably shouldn't have any more caffeine. But I'll be back here in about five minutes, so don't have too much fun without me, but I'll be back soon. Ah, I'll just quickly get that before I forget. Yes, Hoth appropriate outfit. I don't think I've done that on this character. Um, but as so long as you end up remembering to do re-equip the outfit before you uh, arrive on Hoth, that's fine. I've still not got some of the Hoth gear, so I'll just be rocking up in this gear in Hoth, I think. I'll see you in a minute.
<laughs> Siani's not doing much different to what I do. So when I'm playing with NJ, on I will often sit on the floor with my back against the chair um, because it's it's sometimes better for back support. Right, so where are we at? Right, so I can have some of this coffee, hot. And let's catch up with companion conversations, else I'll spend about three hours doing them at the end of the class story. And then we will move on with the actual missions. You think about it at all? That craziness back on Tatooine? Nah, I've forgotten it. What makes a person desperate enough to start seeing his fellow men as meat? They were nut jobs, yeah. People go crazy. End of story. Yeah. I guess. But what a story, huh? You think anyone will believe it? Anyway, <laughs> I heard from Jettison. He's recovering. Took a job in Anchorhead, testing Holonet security. Glad to know he's okay, you know? <clears throat> One thing to point at and say, we did some good here. Fighting cannibals is good. <laughs> yeah, those are people you could feel downright cheerful about killing. <laughs> when I was growing up, you know, good was good and bad was bad. <laughs> now, it's all these shades of grey, and even those aren't always true. That's life. Life is not black and white, dear Corso. Oh yes, I'll have to read uh, Bodars. <clears throat> Finally, with you, I'm a person for a century. I was property, a weapon. Something you could trade, like your gun, for something better. You are a person. Guns don't get hurt if you sell them. Mm. You understand. When I see slaves now, my rage for their masters burns hot. But, mm. I am already too used to my freedom. <laughs> well, when you rock it up in the cool later, you'd have never predicted that. Oh yes, a carvey. I will not be with you long. That's Do not begin to think I am yours. This is a convenient arrangement, that is all. <clears throat> um, let's try this again. Hello. Just humor me. It's two syllables. Hell. Oh. I know you can do it if you put your mind to it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> let's keep going. Hi. How are you? Is this starting to sound familiar? I did not come to make small talk. I need somewhere to bunk while I track down my clan's enemies. I will travel with you as long as our interests coincide. <laughs> Your crew is welcome to me. I did not expect that. <clears throat> what did you expect? What's the usual protocol for Mandalorians turning against the Empire and joining a shiftless spacer's crew? <laughs> I would call no part of that usual. <laughs> it was not a coincidence I came to you on Belmora. Your name is famous among bounty hunters for <clears> the <throat> price both Skavik and Rogan put on you. I wanted to see who was worth so many credits. <laughs> People love me. I'm, I'm undervalued. <laughs> I'm a little insulted the price isn't higher. Is that why you haven't taken a shot at me? You gave me food in bed. I would not betray you. <laughs> I would not give this up for a bounty. <clears throat> and that's the difference, I suppose, between a bounty hunter hunting for money and a bounty hunter hunting for honor. Although, Mandalorian seems to be sort of that they kind of are bounty hunters, but they're kind of. It's a culture, it's a way of life. <clears throat> Sometimes I can't believe you actually got back my crown. Do you know how many spacers died looking for it? <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but when we first met, I thought you'd end up like all the others. Not my style. You hit it well. I, I never thought you had anything less than total confidence in me. I learned pretty fast not to underestimate you. What I'm really saying is, thanks. I wouldn't be where I am without you. <clears throat> you don't have to thank me, Risha. We're not business partners anymore. That's all the more reason to say something. Anyway, didn't mean to slow us down. I'm sure we have plenty to do. Yep. 
No, oh, we know what that is. Oh, I'll come back to the rest of the Risha conversation in a bit. <laughs> Let's crack on. And take the longest route back to the central. Hollow terminal. Here we go. Let's go. Who is this? Captain Isaac here. Hey, die, you scum! Republic privateer. Hey, duck! We're on the same side. <laughs> Get that hangar sealed! Too many! Oh, Stop I remember this guy. Side. Then cut them off. It's them or us! Sorry, Captain. We're under heavy fire. The Boyd Wolf. Without an immediate assist, we're going to be red smears on the sidewalk. I don't risk my life for strangers. But I find credits are a great way to make friends. Get us out of here intact and my whole fleet's yours. However long you need it. All right. The hangar's sealed. That should buy us a few hours. <clears throat> Get the injured to the back. Med packs are running low, so head and torso shots first. <laughs> We're underground now, but the Void Wolf's got patrols all over Quesh. It's only a matter of time before they smoke us out. Give me some idea of what I'm walking into. I've been running yes. adrenals and combat mods from Quesh to Republic Freedom Fighters in the Outer Rim. The Void Wolf took offense. <laughs> He's got some kind of turbo laser barrage. Took down two ships, one shot each. I haven't gotten a launch off since. The whole planet's under an Imperial invasion. <laughs> Come soon. I don't think we can hold out long. Cool, right, and still got to travel to Quesh. Um, I do plan on still doing the planetary story here. I'm almost certain we can't do it in two hours. Um, but it'll mean at least in the next stream we have a variety of Quesh and time to put your shades on its hoth next time round. Did he take a gate? <laughs> well, there's no point having a fence if you don't have a gate as well. <clears throat> Do I need to get rid of anything out of here before I land? About 300 companion gifts because of me trying to level crafting. Let me just bung all that in. I don't like having my bags this full. Oh look! Even more companion gifts. And all that effort at the start of... I know, I'll craft my gear as we go through. I then realised there's absolutely no way you can actually keep up your crafting with the fa with the level that you hit. You level way too quickly for that in in the old republic. But I'm making them for outfit purposes now. You have to pick it right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm glad all my meds and cold remedies are working. <clears throat> Alright, so let's head on to Quest then. Go! <clears throat> Quest is not the most glamorous of locations, but they have got the atmosphere right. When I say atmosphere, I mean, you know, smog, pollution, smoke. <clears throat> and the Quest story of Republic side is actually quite interesting. <clears throat> it's not as I don't think it's pub side you get to kill a hut, though. I'm pretty sure that is um, imp side, I think. Yeah, it is Terry Adwin, and I'll and I'll have a quick look around. Yes, even on Quest, I try to do the occasional stop and stare. Um, I think, in one sense, to create a nice, it's clean, nice beautiful looks. city, or uh, a nice atmospheric green grass Tython, is much easier than creating something that is, well, unattractive. No worries, Patel. Look after yourself and have a good time with uh, your sister and family. Um, it's all right. I appreciate you being here. Um, and if you can, I'm I'm on Lotro tomorrow. But if not, enjoy the rest of your weekend. <clears throat> Welcome to Quesh. Not much trade opportunity at the moment. You here for the war? 
doesn't help that he looks like. I'll certainly hope you're not here for the sights, although poisonous gas makes for pretty sunsets, I suppose. Speaking of which, you'll need this to survive in Quesh's atmosphere. When it starts to wear off, see a medic for another shot. Wait, the air is toxic. This planet has poisonous air? Has the Take care, Mal. Although deadly in its natural state, Quesh Venom, the chemical in the air, can be used to make powerful adrenals. The Empire found out about our mining operations here and filled the planet with troops and battle droids. I really wish they hadn't put this guy here directly after Balmora because he's just the same main contact you had on Balmora features wise. Well, that makes this more tricky. I imagine that waging war on a planet with toxic air doesn't work out well. The air's not as bad as the terrain, Crash is all swamp. Hard on machinery, harder on soldiers. Well, you're clear to travel the planet's surface. Just say the word. Yeah, let's... yeah. I'm ready to have a look at this poison planet. Speak to General Corvan when you land. He'll brief you on the current situation. Good luck. <laughs> I'll need it. Hi Fleet Taxi, thanks for joining. We're delaying having to go to Hoth by doing some of Quest for the rest of this stream. <clears throat> At least it won't be all burning your eyes out. Um, for the full three hours next time. Right, where's General Corvan? He's over here. And the convoy is in the first part of the map, so I'd rather not run past that. <clears throat> now, I've never yet noticed, but it's I'm pretty sure looks. none of your conversation options on Quest lead to companion influence one way or another. Disapproves or approves. I think for some reason this planet is. It has no impact. I'm never not quite sure why. I've not seen a companion approves conversation in this. Welcome. Republic Command informed me that your ship was in the sector. I'd hope you might be joining us. I'm General Corvan at your service. This is Major Trigg, my right hand. General, don't change the subject. If we don't strike now, the Empire will drive us completely off the planet! You know we cannot be drawn into attacking the enemy, Major. The mines and factories would be left undefended. It's a risk we must take. Surely you agree with me? We can't let the Empire simply advance to our doorstep. Don't drag me into your feud. I won't get suckered into an argument. You settle this yourselves. I will not leave our civilian workers undefended in order to press an attack. And that is final, Major. General. I'm getting a distress call from I really the wish you could get rid of this UI now, thing. It's really annoying. Is anyone there? General Corbin, you have to help us! Imperial sappers have blown open the venom pipelines! There's venom flooding everywhere, poisoning my man! We can't get past the Imperials to seal the pipes! Do what you can to get your people out. Help us on the way. Corvan out. How far away is that camp? Are there troops stationed in the area? The camp isn't far, but most of our men are stationed at the mines. I'd like you to hold your forces at the mines in case this is simply a tactic to draw us out. If you're willing to help us, please, go to the camp, drive back the Imperials, and seal the pipeline. Will those workers need medical attention? They will. Mm. Take these healing adrenals. They'll counteract the venom. Speak to the foreman once the site is secure, and good luck. Can, can I have some healing adrenals? I swear she's going to think that the pay of doing anything on Quesh is not worth the pain. Uh, to pick up Terry Adwins, you don't get the same... Uh, if you do Quesh Imp side, you get a much better view over Quesh. Um, for, because you have to get a lift down to get to um, the ground level when you land as an Imp. But it's like fiery... Let me hide the UI. You've got the normal cloud, but there's pink in the sky. Um, when my screen tinting kicks in late at night, Quest looks even weirder. 
Um, thankfully that wouldn't be broadcast if I was going to do a late night stream. But it's kind of half smoke. You can see the black is coming out of the, the pipe, the towers here. But are we in like a sunset or is it just the quest venom stuff in the air making it red as well? So although, yeah, this is not at all a glamorous planet in any way, shape or form, um, it is interesting. And to be fair, between Balmora, which is long, and Hoth, which is also very, very long, um, it's quite nice to have a smaller, shorter planet. Right, so we're looking for the purifying things Let we me. need to do and the sick workers. And I think there's also a bonus to taking out imps as well, so let's kill a few of those. No, there isn't a bonus for the imps in this one. Okay, I was wrong. I don't mind admi admitting when I'm wrong. Right. That's one of the poison miners. Oh look, it's exactly these things that if you do Droman curse, that you poison for the slaves, if you choose to do that quest. <laughs> my my day's almost like yours, uh, Flea Taxi. I am doing a stream and drinking a brew. Although I'm now sadly on the decaffeinated brews. That's three. There's plenty of these poison miners around you. There's more than four, at least. And there is a, a gold mob or so. So if you could come back to do some of these planetary stuff after hitting level 70, then. Then you can pick off the gold mobs for extra CSP. I still am not remembering. Oops. Standing and stupid. Um, still not remembering to use my damage over times. Oh, look, I'm dead. Honestly, I'm dead. I'm. Oh, wait, yeah. There we go. Oh, a chest. An unguarded chest. Even better. <clears throat> Having watched a few streams, streams are pretty good for multitasking too, but because I have a concentration span problem, I have to turn off the sounds in the game I'm playing if I'm watching a stream. Although I have worked out I can in fact play some Old Republic on one screen and have NJ on my lap watching her YouTube video playlist um, if I turn the sounds off on the Old Republic. Ah, we need to go up there to carry on this mission. Um, did you get that for me? Yes. Make sure Risha picked up the crafting, the gathering node that I wanted. Again, I'll just do the purples on Quesh and I'll have to come back for the cosmetic gear on the non-purples. My men owe you their lives. We won't forget this. Thanks to you, we can get our operation <laughs> Risha <running>. shouldn't bow. <laughs> what will you do if they attack the pipeline again? We'll build turrets near the pipeline. If the Empire tries anything else, they'll regret it. Hang on, a call's coming in from General Corvan. <clears throat> I was hoping that reach you. Is the pipeline secure? You wouldn't have called just for a report. Has something gone wrong? On the contrary, we've gotten a stroke of unexpected luck. The Empire is responding to their defeat here by making a frontal assault on our mining operation. In so doing, they're using forces from their base defenses. Mm. This gives us an attack opportunity. Do you have the manpower to defend the mines from a full-on assault? Major Trig's men are being pushed to their limits. But they are holding on, for now. With all respect, General, you can't leave Trig's men alone at the mine. My people will be massacred! We may never get another chance like this. It's dangerous, but we must strike the Empire while we can. Going after the Imperial base He's may cost He's contradicting himself. Lives, but gain us a strategic victory. Earlier he just said 
we can't be drawn into attacking them. And I was like, oh, we've got an opportunity to attack them. Let's attack them. Make your mind up. I'm not a button. No. We can't sacrifice our mind for a chance at vengeance. Thank you. Those men have served the Republic well. <clears throat> they deserve protection. Once you finish, report to the three families war camp. It's time you meet our allies. Corban out. Right, so what are we being actually asked to do here? D -d -d go to the Republic Venom Mines, where's that? Kind of on way to the class story. <clears throat> there are so many achievements on quest that I have not done. In fact, I think I've only got one or one of the um, data crumbs here as well, I think. So, Venom Safeguard is there, Convoy is that way, so let's carry on the planetary one because it's nearer. Shall we try and sneak round mobs rather than blasting our way through? Oh, gold mob. Mel's not even hearing I'm thinking gold mob, right. Another one to annoy Marrow, I'm going to try and shoot a Sith down. Let me rephrase that, I'm blatantly just going to sh uh, shoot and I'm going to below the belt with him. Because, why not? Definitely wasn't worth going to fleet to um, pick up grade 42s. <laughs> the emotes you pick are mildly terrifying, Marrow, but I'm pretty sure that's intentional. Yes, Terry Edwin, exactly. And in fact, because I've got Risha, she's got, I think, a sniper rifle. So I, she's got a sniper rifle. And I've got two blasters. I have blasters and you have nothing! To quote Revan. Kind of. You're wrong, Sith. I have two very angry ladies. That's more than enough to take you down. Cool. So, do these ones count? Yes. Sometimes when you get the bonuses triggered outside of a phase, the ones inside the phase don't always count for the purposes of the bonus. In this case, it does. Right, so you need to defeat Imperial Captains and find the Assault Major. When do I get my flyover ability? It's not until re-rolling characters I realise quite how many things you're spoiled with when doing combat at higher levels. Because I tend to start to miss some of the abilities, like the excess flyover. Um, oh. Clearly not paying attention there for a minute. <laughs> no, you're not just setting me on fire. Get my fingers in a twist. Yep. I miss rocket punch on my mercenary. I really miss rocket punch on my mer mercenary. Since they made it, you either ranged or you're not ranged. I've missed things on my ranged characters for when mobs get up close and personal. 
That's one where you kick them in the face, isn't it? Very satisfying. <clears throat> we are still missing one assault captain. Interesting, that person's not in the room yet. Hey, username unavailable. Good to see you again. You would hit yourself from the distance you shoot at. <laughs> I've not done that. I've only ever rolled mercenary bounty hunters. I don't know why. I think it's because I prefer ranged ranged combat. Might have to be something I would investigate later. Oh, power management, FJ. Power management. Oh, hi there, and Shan. Good to see you. We're pew pewing force users, uh, among other things. And thanks for following. I don't know why that came up so big, that notification there. All the others fit on the screen, but not that one, apparently. Oh, it's because... Ah, I need to amend that one. Thanks for hosting as well. That um, I need to adjust how that appears in, in stream. <clears throat> but yeah, I have a problem with re-rolling some characters to try different things, or... No, let me rephrase that. I have a problem with rolling new characters of classes I'm used to playing so because if I rolled another female bounty hunter for example I would only hear what is my main bounty hunter I would hear their voice um, wherever I went right I've done the venom mines oh let's just shoot another sith while we go through um, same with if I rolled another female inquisitor if I, I would only hear ones I'm used to playing and I prefer to keep my characters separated in my head. So who was that? Oh I thought I was being attacked by another group there, but it's just another player on the way through. I genuinely don't remember the last time I saw twenty players on Quash. Yep, I'll see you there. Um I should just about have enough time to grab some toast between stream and recovering before the before the op, but I'm looking forward to it. Right, so, I'm looking for the, oh, I need the next path up for the class mission here. Is it just up the hill? This feels like I'm going, ah, yes. Uh, the, the reason I was getting confused there is it feels like coming for the Quesh Shroud Lieutenant coming up here. It's not quite here, but it's near. <clears throat> yeah, now, female... I've not been too bad, because I have... I do have female consulars, um, but none of them are... so... Um, I don't know, how do I call it? I'm not attached to them in, in the same way, because I haven't written anything about my female consulars. So I don't mind rolling more of those. Um, but I've just recently r rolled a new knight, a female knight, and I've not done that in ages. And I just can't help but hear my main guardian's voice, so I'm hoping I can get through that. Preferably quickly. It's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, as in that's another way around it, it's just, it's just to sort of think about it differently if they're a completely different character in your head. Um, the way I've done it, because I do have two female Inquisitors, um, is that one is light side and one is dark side, and the female Inquisitor ac voice actress seems to be very flexible. And if you choose their it's conversations differently, um, the voices sound different, so in my head they are, they feel very different to me. <clears throat> I 
don't. I've managed to roll another male consular at some point and not hear my main, but it's tricky. Right, this is the people we're trying to rescue from the Void Wolf attacking them for smuggling adrenals. Now then, has that ship just brought. Yes, reinforcements was the word I was going for. There are more. Did this just. Did this mob just spontaneously combust? Oh, there's defenders. No, there aren't. Why did that guy just spontaneously combust? <laughs> no worries, Maro. Do what you need to do. Some drops coming down at my level, but they're not better than what I'm currently wearing. This is not for her, I'm just thinking, would this make something for one of my other characters? Oh, the bald... The bald hood problem. Right, have we got everybody? Yes, we need to find Captain Ozick. Hundred and three characters. Are they all live? Are they all active? I find it hard enough with thr with nearly thirty. That and if I'm only playing three or four days a week on any one game, oh, I've got a utility point. Um, then I only play them once every two weeks. So I don't know how to deal with that. What do I want to do for my utility point? Reduce the cooldown below the belt. I'm not very good. Distraction. Oh, that's diversion, not distraction. Flourish sucked. No, because I want the when penetrating rounds. So I want that one to slow the target when I get there. Which is there. So I'm going to do that one first, I think. Yeah. Oops. Yes. Commits. And they're still not fixed that you can't escape out from the utility panel. <clears throat> She's here. The captain made it. Ready the ships, men. We may have a chance after all. Get us out of here, and everything you see is yours for the taking. Sounds good to me. Good. I don't visit Imperial occupied war zones just for fun. Yet somehow you end up in quite a lot of them. Oh, hello, Barrow. To know each other. Without the captain's help, I'd be in a terrorist prison cell right now. A bit of a surprise given the company you keep. It wasn't our lives on the line that time. I never apologize for saving myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad to be privy to the grand reunion, but we got more urgent concerns. I've forgotten about that knock-on effect, Ford actually. Using a powerful planetary sensor station to tag any ships leaving Quesh's surface, then his fleet homes in, and boom. The only way off is to destroy the station's sensor processors. It doesn't also at any time. Yeah, that's probably about my limit as well, and then I feel bad about not logging a character for a while. Or... If I have to log them, I spend half my time trying to log them to catch up on mail and I don't end up playing. Um, I like creating characters as well, but then I, I realise after a while if I don't connect with them, I, I need to delete. But my problem is, I've tried removing characters before from both servers and um, I end up reinstating half of them. So I have to be really, really sure that I don't want the character anymore. And then you work. Don't even think about going back on that offer, or I'll take you to the Void Wolf myself. Lighten up. Ozark's good people. You've got my word. We've been trapped for weeks, and you're the first one to respond. If you can do this, I understand how much I owe you. Just come back quickly when it's done. I don't want to be here when the Void Wolf retaliates. Yeah, think. Ah, so we've done the rescue. 
and now I need to make sure I don't get locked. Do they let me mount here? No. These areas they don't let you mount in when it's pointless. Right. Welcome back, Marrow. Yeah, I, I. Although I don't get to know my a lot of my characters that well, there are some that I sort of have an affinity to that I really enjoy playing. Um, here, let me. And so I can't remove them, or I like them for a particular play style. Who <laughs> you've got where? Yeah, <clears throat> I gained two from the, if that's the right word. I knew I had two on the old Jedi Covenant server. And I couldn't remember where they'd end up. Oops, that was a bit of a <laughs> more <laughs> bigger drop than I was expecting. Um, but I'd forgotten what I had created. I'm taking shortcuts here to get back to the path. Um, so I've gained a, a male smuggler. I've gained two healers, which I might have to respec one of them at least. I've gained a, a smuggler sawbones. That in all reality, I probably should just respec because I won't be ready for the healing abilities to understand what they are. Um, <clears throat> and a Jedi Sage. I thought, oh, I'll just delete them. And then I thought, maybe if I dress them up properly, get them the right companions nearby, um, and a decent mount. Uh, and then I just then I just ended up keeping them. <clears throat> it means I've got 14 characters on one server and 15 on the other, which is not as bad as in 103, was that number earlier? Yeah. Right, so the smuggler class story continues... Oh no, that's the Three Families War Camp. Let's carry on doing the class story one then, because that's marginally closer. <clears throat> I mean, on the, on this server I do have... So because I've got like two of this character. Once... So, Family Tree. Which I've, we've got to actually redo, of course. I've got two of this character, so once I finish streaming this one, I'll either keep this one or return and return to the original Siani, or remove the old Siani and keep this one, um, depending on how things play out. Um, I've got a double of Sojourner because I wanted to redo the Bounty Hunter story. So again, um, once I have the guts to finally finish Kotet on original Sojourner, I will probably end up deleting this one. I haven't got a particular reason for keeping them. I've got two of Korjan, which again, and once I've finished the class story, he'll that one will probably go because um, I've got original Korjan through everything. But that still leaves a fair, from my perspective, um, eight, ten, twelve active characters um, just on this server. I have to be really, really sure that I won't miss or want to uh, or regret um, deleting them if I'm actually considering removal. But it takes a lot for me to be totally sure. I need to re-roll my looks. Dark Side Knight that I started because I need to work out how to create a Dark You're Side Knight live. that I don't immensely hate. Is this is like a carbon copy of the night thing, but it's not quite right. So what we reminding myself here: sensor stations, processors. Uh, we're trying to get let C Captain Ozick um, leave leave Quesh. And we have a bonus of killing 15 imps. Yay! Oh, it's very similar to the base you have. You come to as a knight where you meet um, Lord Scourge. Not quite a carbon copy, but it's pretty darn close. I won't do it over and over, Zin, so once I've replayed Sojourner, I will not do that for a while. I think it's because I enjoy connecting with a character um, 
or like I'm not it's been years since I redid Sojourner's story. <laughs> but at the end of the day it's it's just play how you want, do the way you use the game in a way that you'll enjoy. Ah. Not even salvageable scrap. And we need five more of these. Ah, I wasn't quick enough. Let me. Ooh, out of curiosity, what is my influence with Risha? Because I don't do things necessarily that she would approve of. Twelve. That's alright. I think there's only one character I have created on separate servers. I've done redone Talitha's story because I want to be able to have her on both servers. But I've not started Fallen Empire on what is now Darth Malgus or Darth whatever as Maro calls it. This is almost a carbon copy. It's so confusing when they reuse assets like this. Station is working as planned, Grand Admiral. Not a single ship has gotten past us since the sensors went fully operational. <laughs> Not a single ship, hmm? So it's just the things right under your nose that you're blind to. <laughs> Sir, I assure you, everything is under control. I have my best men guarding. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing here? I thought you were on the leash of that shrew senator. Darth whatever is a much better name. <laughs> I just have a major problem with my not quite as innocent as I'd like to think it is brain. Um, when you say, um, what? So what server you on? I'm on Satil Shan. I'm on Darth Malgus. No, wait, no, you can't have those situations going on in your head. Um, I thought you were under that leash of that shrew senator. No, uh, you know. You've been following my career. It's hardly anything worth following. A minor underworld celebrity now running errands at the Republic's beck and call. <laughs> I am the Void Wolf. I earned that name. And don't imagine that discovering the stolen fortune of some wheezing old gangster with his own daughter's aid prepares you to take me on. What are you, a fan? Okay, this is getting creepy. Do you have my picture on your wall? <laughs> no, home, Captain. Make your jokes. Revel in your ignorance. Play the good dog and heal when your masters tell you. You're not ready to run with the wolves. I will bring her to you, sir, dead or in chains. Anything you want. <laughs> I will not fail you. I think you find you probably will. Oh, come on, Risha, you got a sniper rifle, you don't have to shoot him in the back of the head, right behind him. Hmm, did we pick up anything useful? Not worth sacrificing 11 power for, no. Uh, destroying a sensor processor. Yay, let's blast up the Imperial's equipment. They won't be needing it anymore. You say Darth Blastable ship, but... Darth Blastable, I can I can respawn myself at random, so you have to try and kill me twice, Sith. It is probably more accurate. I still I will do it. I do do the Illum storyline, and we will on Siani when we get that heart, get that far. But I still despise the False Emperor for the major probability of having to fight Malgus twice. In fact, I found it easier if I don't know why that has had. To Oh, there we go. We now have some people running after us. Um, so hurt you a lot more than me. I found it easier with the Malgus thing is if you don't use heroic moment. For some reason, when I have that, it seems to make things more likely he'll respawn. Just take your time with the Malgus fight. And he is another Sith that is very much worth shooting down. 
I don't know what it is with the people in the Sith Empire. They think the only way of reforming it is to recreate it or to start something new instead of doing their own, th you know, instead of just trying to sort it all on the inside, which would make much better a chance. Commander Flayed. <laughs> oh, look, we've got a hovering. I, I know I'll get a shot here, but look. Hovering turrets. That's not hovering turrets. That's not swearing at things while you suspend yourself in midair. Look. I don't know what it is with these really slow deaths that are occurring. Right. So that's Commander Ozick <laughs> that we'll have to return to. But it may make more sense geographically speaking. Yeah. Let's come back to that later. There's no... I don't really fancy spending half of the time just wandering around Quash. So, let's get to Three Families War Camp. <laughs> if you want the Quash Explorer and he said deed achievement here you really have to try hard because you to get to map i think i did it pub side to map the imperial outposts without getting shot down in a blaze of glory is not simple it's actually easy with some of the larger planets where you can Stand by for examination and suggested progress. sneak up the back of some of the outposts have the same. Yeah, suspended in mid-air, or standing up, which happens quite often in the Old Republic. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. <laughs> I will stand in defiance of you even after death, as some of the NPCs do. It's not as bad as it looks. I think I've got some odd screenshots of strange death positions. Oh, it's strange how morbid you can do this. Yay, this person has just lost his life. Oh, look what a funny position he's in. Ha ha ha. Poor sucker. I secured our mine. The Empire will think twice before striking our workers again. Fantastic. We mustn't lose a drop of Quash Venom to the Empire. Wouldn't you agree, Major? Of course. Granted, the Imperial base won't likely be vulnerable again, but at least we have the miners on our side. Very impressive indeed. My master is most anxious to meet you. I am Roshash Beck, Major Domo to Broga the Hut. Mighty Broga will wish to know you are here. I will bring him in at once. Please, excuse me. When our own attempts to process the Quash Venom failed, we were forced to find outside assistance. Be careful what you say to Broga. It's a very dangerous hut. Uh. Oh, this could get ugly. I get along fine with huts. As long as there's half a galaxy between us. Major Tree, General Corvan, always so good to see your smiling faces. You must be the ship Captain Tree told me about. I think I have some business you'd find interesting. I'm the one to see if you need results. We must talk later, privately. An army of hot cartel droids are advancing on our factories. The three families are technically working with us without the permission of the hot cartel. The Empire has forced the cartel to label them traitors. I may have a plan, General. If you can draw the attention of the droids at the factory, my men can flank their army. I'll do something crazy. I'll get their attention. 
Even if I have to tell knock knock jokes. <laughs> I'll leave this in your hands then. Yeah, huh? Stop the droids. Protect any workers left inside the factory. Then report back here. Good luck. I'd better get the troops marching. By the way, there are a few special adrenal shipments in the factory. You bring them back to me, I make it worth your while. And Trig and Corvan don't need to hear of this. Sounds good. Sounds like a good way to make some extra credits. And the first pieces of the Quesh cosmetic armor. Awesome. <clears throat> I suspect I'll have to do a lot of galaxy traveling between streams at some point because I'm missing the odd bit of the um, cosmetic gear on different planets. But hey, I said we'd do the purple so it keeps the stream interest keeps the streams as interesting as possible. And although I wanted to quest, I don't want to spend a day and a you know a day and a half here. Right, so we need to go up to cartel crushing, adrenal processing. We're a republic loyalist now. The creds better be worth the aggravation. Yeah, that's that's Gianni's thought as well. When you hear MMPC conversations. Um sometimes it gets like annoyed you hear them well after passing the MPC, but uh, you pick up on some interesting um, tip bits. Uh, are we going this way? Yes. These yellows are they? Are oh, they yellows? That's fine. Okay. It's not as bad as it looks. Sometimes the flyers are um, red, and sometimes they're yellow. It's hard to predict. I thought that was too smooth a run. <laughs> I had to go AFK a couple of days ago um, while on Yavin 4 on my warrior. I thought I was in a safe place. Um, I had to go deal with something to do with baby. When I came back, Vet, who was in a healer stance, had successfully defended us from a gold level mob and killed it off in the same time. <coughs> So I'm not worried about going AFK really. Probably wouldn't have been as successful if um, it had been a group of them there. But hey, yay for passive uh, achievements. Thanks for following Arja. And good to see you in the room as well. So we also want Broga's special supplies. Because we can make some extra credits. And it's always good, as long as a hut pays, to keep cuts keep huts <laughs> pacified. And there's another crate of that over here, which is why I'm doing this random shooting in the corner. <clears throat> we want to be down the lift, okay? Well, want is probably the long, long way. We need to be.
Oh no! You went straight into combat, my companion beat all the enemies. <laughs> what mode was your companion in to be that deadly? <clears throat> Were they in DPS mode or was it still heals? We still need five more crates for the hut. Healing! <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty impressively bad for any computer. I mean, I've had the same computer for a while, so it has its, its limits, but I remember when I first upgraded my old one for this one, and it had the shocking difference in graphics capabilities. It was like, wow, these trees look real, rather than they're just random blurry pixels. <clears throat> I've just got to hope this computer keeps lasting out. It's getting on for six years old now. That's why I've got to make sure I keep it cool, uh, which reminds me I probably should plug my... If the hissing that we had at the start of the stream comes back and people let me know. Um, I haven't put my computer cooling table thingy on for a while. How many more? We need four more crates and I can only see two so we are going to have to go downstairs for the others aren't we? Siani never turns down a, a, a way of making money especially if it's already legitimate before she starts. Of course there are illegitimate ways of doing it as well but one thing at a time. See one over there. Oh no! Really? Did that not make you just want to not play games on that computer? Three hours. I'm trying to think what would make it. I mean, it's not a short quest as it is that tour of ring. It takes you, what, 15, 20 minutes maybe if you run on ride? Must have. I think I would have been. I would have given up that, and I'm and I'm quite a patient person. Um, I need. I need one more from down here because there are two up towards the quest objective itself, or mission objective. I still can't quite not use the word quest when talking about the Old Republic. But then I'm pretty sure I saw on the Old Republic forums pe people talking about questing on, insert planet name here, Command droid. Ah, there's a command droid up here as well. Make sure I don't forget that objective. But there's one right up there, so we'll be fine. We're gonna live. Well, at least that's the right priority there, Taffet. The yeah, as long as you love the thing you're doing, you can take your time doing it. I think the first time I tried Lot Lotro it took me ages to get my head around the major differences that there are between Lotro and Old Republic. Now I see there's more similarities in mechanisms than I initially allowed for. Um, but now yeah, I think the thing I like, one of the things I lo love about Lotro is there is no rush to do anything. So in the current quest pack sale, I have in fact unlocked Isengard because I had the Lotro points to do so. I want to get as many bits and pieces unlocked as possible so that then any Lotro points I earn are for treats. 
Ah, I nearly left without the adrenal shipment. I'm missing a crate. There's one down here. I Zin, even I've had to um, turn down rain and snow quality on Lotro because it does affect my FPS quite a lot. Finish the Hobbit in and the Lord of the Rings in eight months just during reading during loading screens. Oh, it's hilarious and sad all at the same time. Let me just grab some repairs. That's impressive. I mean, to be fair, I probably did something similar in the Old Republic in the start because I was not on the best of machines. Um, I wasn't. Um, loading screens did take time. It was only when I upgraded to this machine all those years ago I realised, wow, these planets can load quickly. Here, let me. Open world full of challenges for players, once you're challenging content while you're leveling. Yes, I mean, the uh, what I think with Lotro is you can definitely choose whether to do the challenging stuff or not to a degree, except where the epic makes you do it, but that's no different from the Old Republic when you're forced to do the tough stuff, in, especially Kota. Um, but yeah, having that choice of how you play and how you gear is actually... Yeah, I enjoy that too. <clears throat> nice work in the factory. My men are routing the rest of the droid army as we speak. If you found the missing equipment I mentioned, I've got credits for you. <laughs> I certainly do. I've got everything you asked me to look for, Broga. Excellent. A pleasure doing business with you. <clears throat> Good of you to join us. General? We are ready to strike at the heart of the Imperial Army and regain control of this war. Our target is Imperial Moth Grayson, commander of Imperial Operations on Quesh. Uh... Will taking this man out really gain us much ground? Without him, the Empire's operations will collapse. They'll have little choice but to abandon Quesh. Moth Grayson is holed up in a heavily fortified palace. Your strike team must get inside. Get to Drayson and bring him back. Preferably alive. Okay. Go in, break stuff, capture Moth, get out. Break stuff. No <laughs> it will not be so easy. There are two ways out of the palace. You must cover both or that wretch Drayson will escape. Our scouts only found one route in. It was my palace before Drayson stole it. That stinking clod of Bantha dung. I would never build a fortress I couldn't escape from. There is an entrance through the sewers, full of traps and poisonous gas, but probably unguarded. Somehow, even on non-poisonous planets, I don't think many assassins are brave enough to sneak through hut waste. <laughs> assassins? <laughs> I put the traps in there to keep my slaves from sneaking out. I doubt my commandos can make it through the front doors alive, but they will go down trying. Nah, I'll shoot my way through. I have a better chance at making it through the doors than your men. That's very noble of you. Thank you. If all goes well, rendezvous with the second strike team once you're in. I'll be here with enough men to defend Broga in case the Empire decides to retaliate. I will meet you here when the mission is complete. Good luck. The entire Republic is hoping for your success. <laughs> Just like to point out that the Republic has a squad that can sh could shoot their way through the palace, but they would go down trying, and you with your you know two girl army in this case has a better chance than trained republic soldiers oh the humiliation for them right so we are heading back further south who's this guy girl well female player at least can I get close enough to give the buff Yes, there we go. I do try to do that occasionally, help people out. They may already have access to all the buffs, but not always. 
<clears throat> right, so I need to make sure I take the correct route here and not blindly follow <laughs> the other player who's on quest. Oh wait, they're, <laughs> they're coming back up here as well. Right, okay. Let's try and avoid the wildlife at least. And we will storm the front gate of the Hut Palace. Because we are better trained for this than soldiers. Well, I wouldn't mind taking out some of these, but they're just um, aggroing them all. So I think there may well be a um, You're gonna live. yeah bonus for doing this. Although there's plenty. Has, has anyone else had this starting to happen, where people with lightsabers don't fully come into visibility here? You see, you can see the lightsabers drawn, and the uh, mobs either side, but not the Sith Marauder. And there's no way he stealthed. She can't tell from the hairstyle. There you go. Those first ones didn't class as cartel and imperial forces. How oh, very strange. advice from the previous planets or from the uh, class planets how do you save um, blaster energy sources just aim for the torsos and headshots only ah good at least it's not just me encounter enemies I can't see at all is that even when they're not even stealth then because it's you can understand it if there was a, st a properly stealth uh, enemy, but you know, like you get the stalker characters in in Lord of the Rings um, that are clearly meant to be stealth until you get too close. But this is happening in non-stealth enabled classes of enemies. That is. Oh, I did it! I'm one shot short. And we want to be going over there. Sometimes your companion is invisible too. Yeah, even I've not had that one. Initially I thought it was a rendering distance problem, but I have quite a few mobs rendering at a decent distance away, so it can't be that. Oh, the companion beneath the ground or floor, that happens a lot. That has been happening since Kota, I think. Um, which is particularly annoying if you're the healer character, because you can't, unless you know roughly where they're stood, you can't heal them that easily. Um, you can only do it with AoEs if you're a healer. And you can't see them. I can't believe you survived that gauntlet. <laughs> Are you made of Dora Steel? Something like that. There's bound to be trouble up ahead. There's always trouble ahead. Story of my life. Always someone lurking, waiting to kill you. You get used to it. You heard the order, men. Move out. That wasn't quite what I said, but it'll do. Toxic trackers give them. Gloves and package, headgear and braces. So we've got four, we've got five of the pieces. How ah, we might get all of the actual cosmetic gear from doing purples, that would be unusual. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> Welcome. I would offer you some of these excellent adrenals, but my warriors have used the last of them. Mm. <laughs> There's no shortage of adrenals on this planet. I'm practically throwing them away now. I hope you realize what an honor you have been given today. You will play a pivotal role in galactic history. <clears throat> Your deaths will be the final outrage that forces the Republic's hand. And now I think it is time to conclude this. <laughs> ah, I don't mind taking out an arrogant Imperial. That's fine with me. I don't know why Moff Jason is not a gold mob. He really should be. I swear those Republic soldiers didn't do any of the damage there. First image of the Conscious Story, I was on a shadow. And during the quest on Alderaan, where the mercenary is testing against various opponents. Oh, yes, all those opponents are. <gasps> no! That has, that's multi layered as well, in that you take on more and more. I know that story. Well, well done on defeating the invisible enemies, but they really shouldn't have been stealth. Have you bug reported that? Because that shouldn't be the case. Or maybe even help ticket it, because it might be a setting they can help you with. Because I've not had that in that scene. Do you think you've won? The Republic's hold on Quesh is at an end. I wouldn't expect a common thug to understand. Ooh, ouch! So I'll use small words. <laughs> you have wasted your time. You never had the strength or the courage to strike the Empire down. And you never will. Yeah. Captain, restrain this man and escort him to the Republic base. Gladly. You should go on ahead. General Corvan will meet you at the war camp to hear your report in person. Oh, well, that's a good thing at least. Yeah. Still quite disconcerting, though. Right, let's go out to the war camp. You know what, by doing purples, there is a slim possibility we might be able to clear quest today. By not actually getting distracted by all the other stuff. Possibly. Let's at least get repairs. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check! Appreciate your business. I'm sure you do. Uh -huh. Sorry, just taking a look around. Got to breathe sometimes. Mm, yeah. I sometimes look at other players and think, what, what can I take from your? Outfit, not take. I'm not gonna steal clothes from people where they are. Oh, yay! I'd forgotten about these. Mysterious Sith Lord. <laughs> it's another Sith to kill. Whoop! Had plenty of those today. <laughs> Nothing that a thermal detonator can't sort. Probably ought to start giving my companions some of these companion gifts. I've got half a cargo bay full of them. Lord Goldmob! <laughs> Maybe they should call the... Uh, I'll, I'll re read that in a second. Maybe they should call the server that, instead of calling it Darth Malgus, Darth Goldmob. <laughs> I am in your debt. I don't know what they would have done to me if you had not intervened. My word. I expected trouble when I lost contact with Broga and Major Trig, but I never imagined this. 
The Sith gave me this to deliver to you, General Corvan. Oh, of all the Sith you come across, this this guy is. I actually don't like this guy. Lord Magrus, I suppose it was only a matter of time before the Sith became involved in this war. And what have we here? A grubby little space rat? Corvan, I had no idea you kept pets. <laughs> Is this really the best you could find, Corvan? You have my deepest condolences. <laughs> You're just dumb. Do I look sad? Try again, buddy. <laughs> it is with great sorrow that I must inform you of the defection of your valued servant and war hero, Major Trieg. You are standing in the midst of his handiwork. He killed his own soldiers to deliver Broger to me. What have you done with my master? The hut is with me in your former venom mine. Another gift from Major Trieg. Let me talk to Broga. Or Trieg. This is not a hostage negotiation. I don't care in the slightest, if you believe me. Would you like these things back? These things. Come to the mine and take them. My door is always open. <laughs> this is my fault. I should have seen it coming. We need a plan to strike back. As it stands, Quesh is lost. There's little time to regain control before Republic Command orders us off the planet. We must stop Lord Magrus. And if the Major's turned against us, bring him to justice. Uh, why not send the army? Might as well send everyone we've got. There's nothing left to defend anyway. I can't send men to capture their own commanding officer. If word gets out, it would cause chaos in the ranks. Oh, that's a valid point. All our hopes rest on you now. Find Lord Magrus and Major Tree. <clears throat> Put a stop to this. Save Broga if you can. I'll return to base to await your report. Good luck. Ah, there we go. 48. I didn't think it was worth doing the upgrades at Fleet. Right, so... I think it's quite a bit of pew-pewing to do to get down to there. You're gonna live. Which is fine. My hands are starting to hurt. Since the weather's gotten colder here, um my hands have started hurting more. I have some cream that will help, but usually my compression gloves are in enough. That's what I wear these for. Um But since the outside temperatures got colder, it's been harder to handle. Do have the heating on at least, which does help too. Negate some of the. Oh, I actually need some of these crafting mats. Um, negate some of the pain at least. It's not as bad as it looks. Right. Okay. You're gonna live. Let's go. Let's shoot a whole load of stuff up. Stage 1. Defeat lesser Imperial forces. Nothing quite like encouraging your troops. They amended this multi-stage bonus a while back. It used to be a much bigger slog. Now you just got to watch for the grades of mobs. Because I think you take out um, weak forces. And the, or normals, and then I think you've got to go for silvers, I think, if I've remembered that correctly. Gotcha. So the next stage is defeat strong Imperial forces, yes. Now, the, the, you don't have to go into the mine to find these, although the little dot is down here. Some of them are, yeah, here you go, are out here. Assuming you're not totally uh, mobbed, and literally, either by them or by other players. Uh, and 
there's another one. Just watch the grenades. Now then... Oh! Right on the path. So nice when they just come to you. And thank goodness for the interrupt of the game. Oops. And we need one more silver. How obliging. Now, if I've remembered correctly, destroy siege equipment, that's all once you get through the door. Well, I'm glad we didn't go to Hoth. I thought I was going to have to burn my eyes out today. But we get to do that next week. Yay! Hmm. Oh, I used the strong ability on the one. those by jumping down there and popping back, unless that was not her official position on the map, which can happen sometimes. Hmm, maybe I should find a warm weather gear thing for Siani for next time. Have to consider it. I do try to RP something so she put on smarter gear, for example, f since being hired by the Republic. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> I've got such long channel times, Risha can sometimes kill them. Really? Ilum's worse. That's interesting. What I will have to do is get people's feedback because what I will do for Hoth is I will try and turn down the brightness for of how it's being transmitted out via Twitch. So that'll take a bit of adjusting for everyone to say whether it's okay or not. This console automatically inoculates people. It also dispenses emergency venom and neutralizers, which counteracts the effects of Quesh venom. Let's take some of those. I'm sure I'll find a use for these. Yes, I think what I'll do is once we actually land on Hoth next time, is say, right, let's actually... Let's not put people off watching simply because of the planet we're on. And it, it will likely take two streams. I didn't. I, I would have thought that. Um, I understand the blue light thing, and that's why I have a screen tinter for late at night, so that I don't have too much blue light towards the end of the day. But I would have thought Hoth would have been worse. What well, I find that. Illum is much better from a headache inducement perspective because it's some of the brightness is counteracted by um, the fact that it's night time yeah, on Illum. Right, so we need to make sure we actually inoculate some of these soldiers. These were also oh, workers. They are dotted throughout inside and outside parts of this factory or this mine. It's a venom mine. Yeah, I can't quite get my head around Illum being worse. I mean, if it's worse for you, it's worse for you. So it's not—it's a statement of fact, really. I'm just trying to understand um, 
how? Having said that, I was surprised at how much my screen tinter still had to do when I was in Moria yesterday, which is there's almost no light there. You can't when can't wear sunglasses when you play Illum. Ick. Have you tried a blue light filter, Tafir? I and you can set it to be either bedtime related or just all the time if you really wanted to. Um, I use a, an app called Flux, which is free. And what it does is it cancels out the varying degrees of blue light, depending on your own preferences as to how it does that. What I, I mean, technically Windows 10 has its own one built in, but ah, the blue crystals. Yeah, they are actually. Every I'd forgotten about those. Yeah. Yeah, they are. That's true. So what Flux does is it gives you the cho varying choice of what colour you'd replace it with. It's different shades of orange and red, basically. Um, it was primarily aimed at helping people to sleep better and get, t and get tired at a more natural time. Um, which blue light stops you from doing. And every device has it. So I've got a, a, a similar app on my phone now. Um, oh, I thought there was a worker up here. Nope, must be thinking of something on the Imperial side. So it can be really handy to... Um, yeah, I've heard of gaming glasses. I We considered that apart from... Um, I can't wear normal glasses for very long because it, of the pressure points on my head. In fact, actually, this after this stream, I'll need a, a break away from my headset because of um, the pressure point pain problem. But this Windows 10 has its own inbuilt blue light filter now, but it's not as flexible as third-party apps. So, F. Lux L U X is is free and pretty customizable to be honest um, and it might be worth you trying to play around with that it takes a bit of getting used to especially if you're used to games looking a certain way but it gradually decreases so if if I'm on an 11 o'clock at night which I am I'm always on at 11 o'clock at night um, then it will start to decrease the blue light gradually and then post midnight um, it becomes harder to play because of um, because not be able to see things as clearly, and that's the whole point. Is it's not you, you, you're supposed to not want to use your computer when it gets harder to to use. So um, it's definitely worth investigating and, and playing with it. There are quite a few things. I think Blue Light got um, some extra press or something, and from that moment on, app developers started doing stuff um, to do with the blue light filters. But Flux is totally free. Um, and yeah. And you can set you could you could just set it to be a permanent tint. Um, what I had to do is to whitelist uh, GIMP that I use for screenshot editing because you can't tell really what you're doing for screenshot editing. Um, if you've got a tint of red and dimming screens and all sorts, yeah, I've ended up with really unbalanced screenshots before. Um, I wonder if I can ping the URL. Is it just... Flux? Uh, blue light. That's it, just get flux.com. There we go, I'll ping that in there. That's the one I use. Other apps are available. Um, I just don't have any experience with them, really. Yeah, but me. I think you have to turn... If you do get a third-party app, I think you have to turn off the Windows default one, um, else you end up with double effect, and then it does become totally unusable, rather than just, oh, it's be quite nice to shut down now.
It was something I had to investigate because sleep is a major problem for me with um, fibro. So if I can make myself tired slightly earlier, then that's a good thing. So I'm not sort of inadvertently or, or you know, being totally aware of making my own sleep worse. And here's the last one for the bonus. Or of this bonus. This is the... The actual final bon bonus is to retrieve the siege droids core. Um, very wise if you clear this room first. In case you aggro them during the bonus fight. Um, and there's a silver one here. I've already hurt him now. <clears throat> yeah, that didn't even channel. There's that was something in my skill tree. This will hurt you a lot more than me. Use your damage over time. Yay! And scavenge the droid while you're at it. Someone who has to just stand and keep guard. Is that what a siege master is? Haha, <laughs> killed him with below the belt. That's what I wanted to do with Skavica earlier in the story and just didn't quite time it correctly. Stop! I told you everything I know! You have a reprieve for the moment, Hut. We have visitors. We have visitors. Major, come and greet our guests. <clears throat> uh... How could you turn on the Republic? What did the Empire promise you? The Republic is sick. Indecisive half-wits like Corvin make general while men of action get passed by. Despite all my talent and years of service, I'd have died a major in the Republic. The Empire will give me a fleet. <laughs> Imperials don't like aliens, no. The Empire isn't exactly a shiny example of equality. I'll never give real power to a Zabrak. It's true. You were exceedingly foolish to believe anything I promised you. <laughs> ah, what? Ah! That raw crash venom will make you quite powerful before it kills you. Destroy our guest there, and I'll give you the antidote. <laughs> Would you trust him? Not he's got a choice at this point. Let's finish this. Yeah, it's another Sith. Oh, we've shot so many Sith today. It's kind of satisfying, isn't it? Again, he should. Magnus really, really should have been a gold mob. I don't know why he wasn't. Ah, forgot I wasn't hunted down. Gotcha. Oops. Control your mouse, FJ. <coughs>
I shouldn't have trusted them. Please, forgive me. <laughs> we'll face a court martial, you know. I don't just kill people for the heck of it. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You're lucky to be so shown such compassion, Trieg. If it had been up to me, I'd have let you rot. You saved my life. For this, the three families are in your debt. Ooh, pay a debt. Oh. Mm. Not a problem. We'll have to talk some time. There are many business opportunities we could explore together. Sounds good to me. I will call the general and reassure him. You should head back at once. Thank you again for everything. Go back to your base. Corvan will want to thank you himself. Yeah, we need to make sure we don't go all the way back. Because I need to pick up the class first. So if I head back to three families, then we can finish off the class story. At least it's logically going up the planet then. <clears throat> so much junk. Your business. Oops. Oh well. I didn't mean to mount on that one. Hey ho. It's just a transport method. <laughs> so yeah. It's been I think it's been more of a chilled stream compared to some other old republic ones. Quite a bit of travelling to do, but I've appreciated the company today. <laughs> <clears throat> Tomorrow, as usual, will be my Lotro stream, which will be Hobbit Minstrel in Evendim on Crick Hollow. I'm going to alternate my Sundays, so I've only got two characters on Crick Hollow, and I want to make sure I'm honouring my kin there by playing. So I'll alternate that between my two characters, one of which is Bjorning and one is a Hobbit Mini. Make sure I haven't actually passed. Have I passed? Ah, the path is up here, that's okay. I thought I'd misread the map, which does happen. <laughs> yeah, we had quite a few people in here earlier in the day. And so I thank you, especially those who've been here for a lot or even all of it. Um, we're up here. There's actually no point in being mounted up here because there's usually, yeah, I've got to shoot my way it's through. Not as bad as it looks. Let me. to face anything in here. Wh where, is, where geographically is Winterfest held, Zen? You're gonna live. As in, sort of, where in Middle Earth is it being held? Sent my first ship out undetected. 
Looks like you really took their system down. I learned on Terrace. Always assume she can do anything she promises. I guess I owe you then, Captain. What can we do for you, once we've delivered these medicines to Scastel, that is? <laughs> uh, cash in hand, you work for me now. Report to Darmus Palaran in Port Nowhere. They'll give you my first assignment. But what about the refugees? We're doing important work here. Without the medicine we bring, thousands of Republic freedom fighters could... Uh, never mind. I can see it's futile to appeal to your better nature. I won't go back on my way. <laughs> my fleet will serve you long enough to pay off this debt. Then pray it's not too late to still affect this war. Good day, Captain. I'm near Thorin Sol. Oh, okay. I'll try making out the dates. I don't know Captain, but I'll jump ship the minute you ask me to go against what I believe in. That's fine. I'm here to make money. Right, so now we need to... Where are we uploading this droid core? Ah. Oh, it might be just outside his office anyway. Okay. I'll try making note of the dates of Winterfest so I'd like to get a bit more... hear a bit more music. That was what made me split to two servers, despite my brain telling me how can you possibly play Tor on two sabers? Oh, <laughs> play Tor on two servers and Lotra on two servers. Um, but yes, I would like to hear more music. <clears throat> Depends on timing, because of stuff on the USA server um, will totally depend on what time it is here and how that coincides with baby duty etc but yes in principle shouldn't be a problem I have seen tweets about it already I think because they filled up all the spaces for bands if I remember right I will be a little bit behind on Lotro family at the moment but that's fine I will catch up it's nice that you have that you have all the spaces filled as you know, this early on You should get some of the bands to perform during Yule Fest, actually in Winterhome. I'm pretty sure I've seen people do it, but it'd be good to have those organised. You've got a captive audience, basically, even if people are, as I do with um, Yule Fest, logging in and out of characters every 10 minutes, about 15, 20 minutes. Cool, I'm just going to grab the last bit of... Take a look repairs, at the stock. What and then we can you? tie up. Appreciate your business. And as this is a very, very logical place, it's second weekend December. We play on Sunday, 1 p.m. server time. That's 5 p.m. my it's time. It's not as bad as it looks. Yes, if I, yes, that should be fine. Um, because it'll have. I can. I should be able to come directly after my Lotro stream then, or. I could end it with some of it. I'll, I'll make a note of that because um, my Sunday one is three till six my end, which I think is in. Let me think now. Eleven till two your end. So there's a slight overlap. I will have a think, but thanks for letting me know. All the same. What I'll do when once I've done this cutscene, I'll get back to my ship, and then as it's ten to five and is a perfectly logical point to finish, I will, so that I can have a bit of a break before doing an op with my um, guild. So it'll only be slightly shorter in the end, about five minutes shorter. But I received word from Broga. Just makes sense. Kept our operations safe and eliminated the Empire's masterminds. I've sent a squad to take Major Trigg into custody. He will answer for what he's done. The Republic Army owes you a debt of gratitude. This was almost fun. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> I am more grateful than I can express. It will take time to find and stamp out the remaining Imperial forces. As long as we remain here, you will be honored and welcomed. Ah, yes. I had forgotten about that, Zinya. Right. 
totally right. Another reason for stopping the stream here is I always have a problem with Quash because I end up with music overlaying by the time I get back onto my ship. So I'll make it two. Um, the shuttle. But yeah, I think what I'll do is I will finish up here. If that's alright with everybody. It's just a perfect logical point that the next thing we need to do is travel to Hoth. It's not as bad as it looks. So we got through. Made some money on Balmora. Did a bit of good too. Definitely made money on Quesh by not being too selfless with it. Um, and we Hoth is towards the end of chapter 2. So I feel like we're making loads of progress. So thanks so much for everyone for being here. I will stop it there. And <laughs> bring the helmets of luck. <laughs> oh, yeah, at some point, I have, the heroics are quite hard on my hands, so I have to be quite careful, but I'm not. I'm open to the idea, let's say. But otherwise, thanks everyone for joining. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Lotro tomorrow at 3 pm. GMT. Got to remember, it's still we're still GMT. We, we're not going back to BST. Um, otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks, Taffet. That means a lot. And although this is a smuggler, this is Star Wars. Therefore, may the force be with you. And uh, look after yourselves. Take care. Bye. <laughs>